Greetings everyone, my name is Adderville, and welcome to my let's try of the demo of David Get Keen, a fast-paced 3D action platformer in development by Jazzy Man Studios. I'll be spending up to half an hour in this demo, giving my first impressions along the way. I'm going to be playing this with a keyboard and mouse. See ya, Jedoc. I need to read that message. So like the homing attack. Exactly like the homing attack. And. Cool, almost $10,000. Part 2. No music though. Oh goody, we have another. I should have done a spin jump, then a dash. Almost. There's only one swear word. Again, spin jump first. Sheesh, you can combo your movement pretty well. Expert players. What? Excuse me? The ground ate me. Uh, well, 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 not. Hey, we're out now. Spin jump, then dash jump. Whoa, whoa. You missed me falling to the abyss several dozen times. You get so much speed it gets hard to control. 
Now just imagine playing this with a controller without sharp turns. Ha. <sighs> okay. Look, 420 almost. Almost. I need a reprimer of how I can chain everything together. It is, but I can already turn really fast with the mouse. It's probably more for controllers. There we go. Give me a few times, this will be edited down. Mind you, this is actually completely optional. If I have too much trouble, I'll just go to the actual stages. End. Oh boy. 34 deaths. That's an F. Time for the actual stage, Bloody Farm. This was only for advanced players, so I'm fine with that. Ella's Farms, Evil Smile. Oh. So my objective is to get up here. I guess that's what it is. I have to collect all these coins. While avoiding all these worms on the ground level. But remember, they lock the ground level so they're no issue really, as long as they don't fall off. Oh, wait a minute, they can chase me up. That may be a problem. Whoa. Remember, one hit kills. I do wish I actually had one more HP, but I get the reason why. You can really easily outmaneuver most of these enemies.
Level complete. C. Stage 3. Professional Trickman. Oh, this is... Compared to before, this is huge. Uh, I'm just mashing the controls and I'm getting a really high score. There probably should be a reset for this. I'm going to try going for a score for this one, and next time, I'm going to try going for the letters. Tony Ox Crazy Skater. Yeah, the combo system needs to be fixed. In the Tony Hawk games, if you repeat the same tricks over and over, you'll gain less score over time. This doesn't appear to be the case here, judging by the 400 plus score multiplier and counting. Now it's 500. And here I thought Backup and Drive was inspired by Tony Hawk. Two million dollars, and yet that's only a C rank. So they knew players would try doing something like this. Okay, this time we're going for the letters, not score. I just realized that this was the only stage that had music. Sheesh, getting to these is harder than it looks. I know where the other one is, and there's the other one. At first it seems like a demo short side, in reality it isn't. Warning, if you're sensitive to flashing lights, please skip ahead to the timestamp currently on screen. You've been warned. Oh look, an actual stage.
really hard to see what's going on here, though, due to the heavy rain. That's a moving platform. Whoa, whoa. Precisely, Buster. Like the Tony Hawk games do. I keep slipping off this platform. Please, in the next version, tone down the rain intensity. I keep thinking I'm safe on those platforms, but lo and behold, I fall right off. Or just turn off the rain. I'd be happy with that. I'll actually put a warning for anyone watching because yikes. This is kind of painful to see. I wanted to like this more, but to be quite frank, this is the worst stage of the demo, and only because of the rain effect. The first stage was training, the second stage was a collect -a ton the third stage was Tony Hawk, and now we have an actual 3D platformer stage. Shame how this ended up being the worst one. Hey, sometimes you get stinkers. Which is a shame really, because I like the movement tech of this game. There is a drop shadow, but the problem is I can't see it. And the platform colors are not helping matters either. With a fast paced platformer like this, you need good vision of what's coming up ahead. Or at the very least, a good sense of what's below you. Also, please make it clear where you're supposed to go to next. I don't mind if there's some surprises, but because of how much the rain obscures my vision, it causes a lot of issues for controlling where I am. We're out of here. This was truly a nightmare. Please remove the rain effect, or take this out of the demo, or completely rework this. This was painful to play and not fun. Just think of the people who are photosensitive. If this was painful for me to play, just imagine how painful it is for them. There was no warning listed anywhere about this. Which is a shame really, because I liked the overall moving tech. It's actually rather complex and has a lot of depth, and confers a lot of speedrunning potential. The first three stages will showcase this fact. Oh yeah, graphics were simplistic, but they got the job done. Music was mostly non-existent. And the gameplay... I just talked about what I liked and disliked about it. If the final stage didn't exist, I'd mark this as being a good demo. Still, I have hopes for this game, and I wish the best of luck to the developer. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.